So today we're going to tackle an issue that is now popping up with newer Teslas and with newer software on older Teslas, and that is the cameras behind here. I keep getting these warning messages on my screen that I need to clean this, so I'm gonna show you how to do that and um, what you should probably use. This isn't the only way to do this. This is just how I'm doing it and how I recommend you do it. So it's important that when you do clean the surface behind here, that you're using something that will leave nothing behind. But we need to get that off gassing out of there because it's occluding the cameras. And if you have this issue, you're probably seeing the wiper blades go a lot. This will help solve that issue. So that's what we're gonna do today. First thing we need to do though, is remove this uh, whole cover here. So there's a few pieces. We first got this little piece here, then we've got this big housing, and then behind that, we've got um, this flat panel that's really a glare reduction panel of some kind that helps with the camera. So we're gonna remove all of that to get access to the glass behind there. And then we're going to use this, which is my go-to glass cleaner. This stuff is so good. Um, I even wash cyber trucks with this. But the reason why it works so well is because um, it's ammonia free, which is good for uh, tinted windows, but also because it has so much alcohol in it that it's the most streak free stuff that I use. I love this stuff anyways. Not that expensive. You can actually get this at your grocery store. This isn't like a special product. This has been around forever. I've just always used this on all of my surfaces in the car. Works really well. So we'll be using that. But also something else that you're going to want to do is get these microfibers. These are not standard microfibers. These ones are actually kind of special. They're made specifically for glass. And it is a microfiber, but it's super low profile and leaves um, basically no lint behind. And that's kind of the whole purpose of these. These are not any more expensive than other microfibers necessarily, but um, these, you're definitely gonna want something like this because a standard microfiber will leave lint behind and we don't want anything on that glass um, when we're done. So with that, let's get into the procedure. Let's first remove all of this right up here so that we can uh, gain access to the glass. All right, so the first thing that we need to do here is, um, if you can see this little, piece around the edge you can see that line we need to gain access to that without scratching it to high heaven and um, to do that I've got the thinnest body pry tool that I've got it is a little bit marred so we got to be careful but if we can get in there we can kind of create an angle and it'll pop down don't pull too hard there's a tether here that uh, kind of prevents it from falling away so we can leave this like this and then the next thing we need to do is remove this and we need to be very careful because we are up on glass right now so we're just going to get behind it a little bit and just kind of give it a little bit of pressure until you hear that pop there we go that will be popped and then actually look at that okay so if you have a newer one it actually spins and releases which is really awesome okay so let's remove this wire harness right here and that actually might not even matter if this thing is connected yeah so we're just going to leave it like that ideally we'd get this out of the way but even if i remove the harness this zip tie <laughs> it's kind of holding everything together um okay so now that we've got that down, this is kind of popped, kind of pulled down, and we can feel a bit of an angle. Now, we can remove all of this by basically just pulling down on the headliner a little bit and then getting this kind of more out of the way, like so. Next, we're gonna take, uh, you can see this little push point here. There's the same one on the other side that we need to uh, push in. And then this piece will come down and it'll come out there we go now we can see the area there i also want to show you real quick if we go into service they now show you camera visibility so right now i as you can see i've got these issues popping up and camera preview will show me 
what I'm looking at. So, hi, there I am from the inside. Let's look at the front. So there's, it's really not that bad when you look at it right now, but at night you can really see the glare and especially right here, you can really see that spot down towards the bottom, which is gonna be like right here. And I can actually see it. Let me see if I can see that on camera real well. I just kind of saw that. I don't know if we'll be able to see that very well on the camera, but I can definitely see that. Um, there's a little bit of a haze right here on the glass. You see where my finger marks are right there. And uh, that's the kind of stuff we got to get off of there. That uh, off-gassing has made this camera a little bit blurry now that we've got this exposed we want to be very 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 careful we don't want to hit the cameras um so kind of give yourself a little bit of a test spray very gentle don't overdo it but this stuff will clean this area out so well try your best not to touch the cameras nice good force you can see a little bit of dirt and stuff coming off there it's already looking so much cleaner but let's just make sure we get all the glass in this little area really nicely wiped down. There we go. And if we look at the screen already, that haze that was right there is already gone, which is uh, pretty awesome. Now all that's left is to reassemble everything. So we're going to take our um, glare reduction piece here. We're going to go up kind of at an angle here to get it to hook on to its spot which we can almost see right there there we go <sighs> yeah don't do that Whoops, totally just shattered this. All right, well, let's see if we can make it work anyways. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, that's called being an idiot. Okay, don't put too much pressure on that. And then I'm gonna put these on this post. So that way it stays aligned. And then we can take our uh, headliner back a little bit again. Get this thing back. There we go. Boom. Make sure you hear all the clips click. And then put our mirror up at an angle there we go Let's spin it there we go slide this piece right here that's nice and secure everything should be good now there we go all right our camera is looking much much better as you can see and that should uh, eliminate the issues that we're having so let's go back to camera visibility and let's clear the history here so that way uh, we can keep an eye on it keep track of it that's how you do this